Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. My name is Dr. Gafour and this channel focuses on education. We explore the different ways in which we can improve our memories and how we can become efficient and live more productively as a student. We will show you ways on how to increase your memory power and recall using mnemonics and this video will be specifically looking into seizures and what mnemonics we can use to help you recall all the facts in a viva or an exam. Today we are going to be looking at seizures, the causes of seizures and in particular epilepsy. We'll also discuss the signs and symptoms of epileptic seizures and give you a mnemonic at the end which will include the features of an epileptic seizure. This will improve your rapidity for recall that will allow you to impress your tutors with your level of recall and response. A seizure is a medical term for a fit or a convulsion. One in 20 people will have a seizure at some point in their lives. However, there are many underlying causes of seizures and not everyone who has a seizure is diagnosed as having epilepsy. Electrical activity happens constantly in our brains and controls movements and bodily functions. If there is a disruption to the blood supply to the brain, it can trigger a seizure, causing uncontrolled movements of the eyes, limbs and body. Not all seizures are due to epilepsy. A patient will be given a specific diagnosis of epilepsy following assessment and investigation. If there is no other identifiable cause of their seizures, then they will be diagnosed as having epilepsy. Some of the common causes of convulsions include head injuries, cardiac arrest, stroke, brain tumour and pyrexia. Other common causes of convulsions also include drugs and alcohol, hypoglycemia, epilepsy, hypoxia, and meningitis or sepsis. Seizures can be described as tonic, clonic, or atonic. They can also be described as grand mal or a petit mal seizure. The tonic phase of the seizure can manifest as a loss of consciousness the patient can collapse to the floor. The body is usually very rigid and they have a cry out sound. This sound is like they are in pain, but is in fact a reflex action caused by the contraction of muscles expelling air from the lungs. The clonic phase manifests as jerking limbs, trauma to the tongue, trauma to the cheek. The patient can stop breathing, they can have bladder incontinence and they can be, be turning blue due to hypoxia. A atonic seizure is called a drop attack. This is when a person will suddenly drop to the floor in a very brief seizure. There are obviously risks of injuries to the person when they have such a drop attack. A myoclonic seizure is usually an isolated seizure with short lasting jerks of the body. Sometimes these jerks can just feel like a small twitch. A febrile seizure, usually known as febrile convulsion, is usually triggered by a child or a baby being too warm or linked to childhood illnesses which raise the child's temperature. Epilepsy affects approximately 600,000 people in the UK. 5% of people will have a seizure at some point in their life. Not all seizures are due to epilepsy, but epilepsy is a seizure. So epilepsy is diagnosed when a patient has experienced at least one seizure with no other identifiable cause. During a seizure, the patient usually loses awareness of their surroundings. Sometimes they experience what is called an aura a few seconds prior to the seizure. An aura can be a taste, sensation, smell or sound that usually alerts them that a seizure may be imminent. Example of auras include hearing bells, a taste of lemons in the patient's mouth, the smell of burning rubber, a feeling of itchiness, 
and also seeing a zigzag in front of their eyes. Signs and symptoms of seizures include jerking movements of the limbs, as in the case of a grand mal seizure. They can bite their tongue. They can have noisy breathing. They can be foaming at the mouth due to the inability to swallow since the gag reflex is lost or impaired. They often bite their tongue and the blood is visible in the foamed saliva. They, they could also bang their head on the floor, causing possibly injury to the body. They may also show signs of bladder incontinence. So let's look at a mnemonic that can help us remember the signs and symptoms of an epileptic fit. So quite appropriately, we will be using the mnemonic convulsions. So C equals clonic, O equals tonic, the second letter in the word tonic, N equals nausea, V equals viral infections and vomiting. Following on, U equals unconscious, L equals loss of memory, S equals spasms, I equals incontinence, O equals changes in odour and taste. And finally, the last part of the mnemonic, N equals noises, example hissing due to an aura. S equals silent fits, which we didn't mention before, such as a petite mal seizure. They can have speech issues and they could be profusely sweating during the, the, uh, the convulsion. Thank you for listening and watching to the presentation. If you found this useful and quite enjoyable, then please kindly subscribe to our channel and we will be bringing much more further mnemonics to enhance your learning. Thank you very much.